Today I'm going to show you how to convert ISO files into WBFS files. This is relevant if you've downloaded a Wii game online and it's .iso instead of WBFS because when you use USB Loader GX it has to be WBFS. So getting right into it we're going to use Wii Backup Manager. So go to the first link in the description and just click where it says Wii Backup Manager and it should download. It should be quick so open it up and I'm just going to put it onto my desktop. I'm going to create a new folder called Wii Backup Manager and then I'm just going to highlight everything and drag it into that folder. So we'll close that and we'll open Wii Backup Manager and from here to run it just double click on Wii Backup Manager 64EXE and it should run. Just click yes and here we go. So my ISO file is on my computer storage, which is drive D for me, and it's in a WBFS folder. That's so we backup manager can recognize it. We're going to select that drive where the ROM is in drive one on we backup manager. And I also have a USB stick plugged into my computer, which is drive E. So make sure you have your USB drive selected in drive two. That's what we're going to transfer the file onto. And I'm not sure if this is because it's an ISO file, but it took a while, at least a few minutes, just for it to read the drive. So if it's not reading it yet, just give it a few minutes and hopefully it'll pop up like this. But if we scroll over, you can see that the type of file is an ISO, so we're going to change that. So select the ROM, go to Transfer, and click Drive 2. And this will begin transferring it to your USB drive. Now again, this took a lot longer than working with WBFS files, at least in my experience, but so just be patient. And once it's completed, you'll be able to go into Drive 2, you'll see the folder there, or the file, sorry, and you can scroll over and see that it turned into a WBFS file. So that's basically it. Now you can put it into your WBFS folder and play it on USB Loader GX. Now we'll just double check on the USB drive that is there and it's set up just like it should be to be ready to play it on USB Loader GX. A WBFS file in the correct folder with the game ID and everything. But anyways that's it for the tutorial. If it helped you please leave a like and if you ran into any issues just comment and I'll try to get back to you. Uh, I do have a discord server now so that'll be linked below and if you want to check out other Wii tutorials and Wii U tutorials just go into my playlist and I have two there waiting for you. Anyways thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.